I've been boxing since the age of seven. Just went with it, lad, off the estate. I was good at it, so I carried on, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I'm still here today. As an amateur, I was a good, good quality boxer, tidy, clean, and as I got older and matured, I started getting a bit more power, and then I thought, yeah, I can do this as a job. 40 pounds it adds to me, the teller. It's been calculated. So if you're good side, what do I have one? Get, get your better side than you've got to say. <laughs> no, when it's on camera, get some airs like that. We've been working together for around 12 years. Started off in the amateurs with him. He was one of them little cheeky kids, really. You couldn't get rid of him. You, you'd go out to shows, I'd be fighting, or me other mate would be fighting, and he'd be coming back and saying, oh, I've just seen the kid you've been fighting. You want to see how hard he's hitting the pads, and I reckon he's going to knock you out. But he was just always up to something, whether it was robbing meal tickets and gloves or anything. He was just one of them little kids. Been together that long, we're like at a couple. Now we don't even speak to each other. <laughs> right, get ready, Danny, ready to go. Steve is like a, a mate as well as a coach. <laughs> Wait for it to slip back on. <laughs> His kids who grew up on the same estate. I respect him, I listen to him. Front hand a bit higher. Come on. He'll have a moan, he'll have a shout. And he'll also know when to put his arm around me and know when I need an hug. Pete, a jab, butter. Come on, hold it together. Hands, feet. I think he knows me better than I know myself. Touch the bag with them, with them. What? Just touch the bag with them. Man. I see myself as just a hard-working lad who wants the best for himself and his family. That last fight won't at me best, and losing for the first time, it's not nice. It's not a nice feeling. Walking up the street and people asking, did you win your fight? And you're like, no. Having to say no for the first time when you've said yeah for 33 times. Going in this world boxing series, it's like another chapter. I'm against the number one seed, and I know I'm in for an hard night, but to win the tournament, I'd have had to beat him anyway. It's just that I've got to beat him first. I'm happy to be the underdog. I know, like, people were expecting to, to wipe the floor of me. It's not going to be the case. I want my kids to be able to look back in a few years and say, my dad was, was the best boxer about and see what I've achieved. <laughs> If we get chin today, <laughs> I'm gonna take your film. He's been holding back. He's been holding back, aren't you, Connor? Not today. Waiting for this moment. Yeah. Right, get ready, boys. Time, let's go. Shot. It was last to be picked. I've seen everyone who's in it, and I looked at them all and thought, I think I'll win it. Unlucky, Tim. There you go, though. Good. Trying to keep like, you know, like, walking forward a bit up, like. Vibing in. Yeah, you just got to watch the... No, the chin in the air. Know what I mean? On me right going? Up. Yeah, when you're going. <laughs> Don't go far out, beautiful. <laughs> Unlucky test. Yeah. That's it. Four shots there, didn't even see them. Mug him again, but in the upper put in. <laughs> no, I believe him the best fighter on the planet on my day, and I'll be looking to show that in this tournament. <laughs> 